Care Blazer, it is extremely important for your loved one with dementia to stay hydrated. When somebody is not properly hydrated, it increases the chances for them to have problems with constipation, increases chances of urinary tract infection, um, confusion, headaches. It's just not a good thing. In this video, I'm gonna share eight tips to keep somebody with dementia hydrated. Before I share those eight tips, I wanna make sure that you've heard I'm hosting a free class on how to successfully respond to challenging dementia behaviors. Even if your loved one doesn't want your help, doesn't think they need help, resists all your help, this class can help you. It's totally free, but you have to save your spot. There's a link below the video where you can register and sign up. There are a lot of reasons why somebody with dementia might have a hard time staying hydrated. For starters, if you or I are thirsty, our brain is able to register it and we probably have the physical ability and cognitive ability to get up and get ourselves a glass of water and then physically be able to drink that. Is that the truth for your loved one with dementia? Are they able to actually register that they are thirsty and then be able to express to you that they're thirsty or be able to get that drink themselves? And even if you brought them the drink, they were able to say they were thirsty, do they have the physical ability to drink that drink? There's so many steps involved in something just as simple as hydration. It's actually not that simple when you think about everything that's involved. Now, Careblazer, there are people out there who are on fluid restrictions, meaning they are not supposed to drink the normal amount of water that you and I are supposed to drink. They might have medical conditions where they're intentionally not drinking water. Also, if your uh, person with dementia coughs a lot or seems to be having trouble swallowing, please make sure you are talking to their primary care provider and better yet, even requesting a referral to a speech pathologist to get that uh, investigated further. All right, so tip number one, let's get something really simple out of the way to increase hydration. Keep drinks nearby, keep water nearby, right? Just always have something within their reach that they can drink, especially during meal times, because that's a natural place for somebody to have a drink and it feels more natural at a more natural time to remind them to drink when it's at a meal time. Number two, provide frequent reminders. You can uh, be creative in how you remind them. You could say, hey, you know, are you thirsty? Would you like something to drink? Just a simple question is a prompt for them to be thinking about their thirst. Also super important and easy, make sure you are drinking water throughout the day and that they can observe you doing it. Sometimes simply modeling the behavior also makes it easier for the person with dementia to do that same behavior. Number three, plan frequent breaks plan frequent hydration breaks, and you can make this look really natural. Let's say you and your person with dementia do laundry together. Maybe after you fold a load of laundry or you put it in the dryer, you sit down and you're like, Whew, let's take a break and have a drink, right? And then you pour a glass of water. Or if you're playing a game together, a card game or crossword puzzles, it's like after that card game is over or after a couple of um, word search words have been found, you'd be like, oh, that was so much fun. Let's have a glass of water. You don't have to do it in terms of it's really important you stay hydrated. Make sure you take the water. It's just kind of like finding the natural breaks in the day for hydration. Tip number four, pay attention to the color of the drinking glass. Vision often declines with age, and sometimes people with dementia have a hard time seeing certain colors or objects over others. So it can be really difficult for them maybe to see a clear glass, but if it was a brightly colored glass, it might catch their attention more, which something that simple can prompt them to drink more. Tip number five, in addition to considering just the color and how the glass looks, consider how easy it is for them to use that glass or cup. Consider things like, is it easy to grip? Do they prefer a handle over um, just one cylinder? Is it plastic with a lid? So if they fall and it, if they drop it and it falls like water isn't spilled everywhere. Like be thinking about what would make this easier for my person with dementia. Pay attention to if your loved one prefers drinking with a straw or without a straw. Like my mom, I know she is going to want a straw in her water. That is how she's going to be more likely to drink her water. If there is not a straw in there, she's not gonna drink out of that cup. So observe what you think, observe your loved one and see what they seem to respond better to. Also, um, pay attention to the weight of the cup. Sometimes people with dementia, especially if they have like 
really shaky hands do better with heavier uh, cups, with weighted cups versus a lighter cup. All of these things are not normally something you and I would think about when it comes to like, well, just drink more water. But for the person with dementia, it can make all the difference. Tip number six, offer choices. A lot of people, I've worked with a lot of patients who they say they don't like the taste of water, right? But there are other ways to get hydration. When we stick um, if we're sticking just to liquids here, you can consider water flavorings. Like sometimes there's little drops of water, um, flavor drops you can put in water. Sometimes there's electrolyte tablets or a different sort of flavor tablets you can put in the water. Um, you can consider juices and teas. You can make it a fun spa day water with like sliced up cucumbers or mints or sliced strawberries. We're coming up in the summer months soon. It already feels like that here in Arizona. So how can you make it fun, enticing? How can you make it uh, taste better and different? It doesn't always have to be plain water. Tip number seven, hydration can also come from non-liquids. It can come from fruits and foods. Consider things like jello, yogurts, blueberries, lettuce. Um, plenty of fruits and vegetables have high water content. So this is a way to increase hydration without them necessarily having to drink anything. Tip number eight, super important. What I'm always recommending, make sure you're talking to your loved one's um, healthcare provider in terms of the medications they are on and potential side effects for dehydration. Some medications can be incredibly dehydrating. So uh, talk to their provider, make sure they're on a good, uh, good medication for them and there's not any major dehydration side effects. And if there are, maybe there's some other alternative medications that can work instead. Careblazer, you know your loved one best. Choose a couple of these tips, start incorporating them in your daily life, and hopefully that will help reduce the chances your loved one will become dehydrated and suffer from a lot of those negative side effects that come as a result of that. I hope to see a lot of you in my upcoming behavior class. You can register, the link is below in the description. Also, if you haven't already, there's a red subscribe button on your screen. You can click it, it's totally free. It helps you not miss out on future Careblazer TV episodes that I post here every week. Staying properly hydrated is especially important, especially for somebody with dementia. Did I just say especially twice? I think I did. Okay. Whew. They might not. Tip number seven, make sure...